Good morning and welcome to this morning's Children's Church video. It's the first video of this term's new videos and we've got some new themes coming up and hopefully some other activities that you might find really enjoyable for the next term. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that later in our video. Okay, so me and the rest of the team on our Children's Church leaders are all hoping that you're all doing well at home and that you're all enjoying being back in school and back with your friends again. It's nice to see some faces in church every week as well. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking to you about the parable of the sower, okay, because harvest is coming up and it's in relation to seeds. And so what I want you to do is I want you to watch this little short video first and then we'll talk about what the parable of the sower is about and what it means for our own lives and how we can relate that parable told by Jesus into our own lives. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. One day, a farmer went out to sow some seeds. As he walked along, he threw the seeds wherever he went. Each seed was the same, bright and green and full of the potential for life. Some of the seeds fell on stony ground. There was nowhere for their roots to grow. They just sat there. Birds spotted the seeds from the air. They flew down and ate them up. Some seeds fell on rocky places, where there wasn't much soil. They quickly grew at first, but the soil was shallow. And when the sun came up, they withered and died, because they had no root. Some other seeds fell among thorns. The seeds started to grow, but the thorns grew bigger and they choked the new plants, so they didn't produce any crop. They just disappeared. But other seeds fell on good soil. They grew and grew, strong and bright, and the life in the seeds bore an amazing crop, some with 30 grains, some 60, and some even 100 grains of corn. hope you enjoyed that video okay just to bring to life the, the parable of the sower rather than me just reading it to you okay so Jesus explained to the people who were with him what this parable means he said that the farmer the farmer is like Jesus and the seed is like the message of God Jesus sows this seed of good news into different places and different people react in different ways to, from the to the message from God just like we react to different messages in our own lives when the seeds fall on the path and they're eaten by the birds, it's like when people hear the good news, but they pay no attention, they don't want to know, and they carry on living their lives without Jesus in it. The seeds that fall on the rocky ground, they grow really quickly, but then they die because the seeds can't take root, it means they can't go down into the soil and really take out the nutrients and the goodness, okay? They can't take root. And that teaches us that sometimes, uh, but some people listen to the good news at first, but their interest it just goes away and it has no real root. And when these people find it, when they come across difficulty or problems in life, that they give up on Jesus and they give up on their faith and they think it's too hard and it's 
I just, you know, I don't believe anymore because things are difficult for me at the moment. The seeds that fall amongst the weeds are choked and the plants die. Some people accept God's message, but they don't fully commit to Jesus. They let other things get in the way, like money or worries get in the way of their faith. They concentrate too much on the things that are going on around them to really think about about God and the message of God. So like the, weed, uh, like the weeds choke the plants, so these people's faith is smothered. But the seeds which fall into the good ground grow into big healthy plants. The good soil is like the hearts of people who love Jesus, who hear the good news and they rejoice. God's word takes root in their lives and they remain faithful to God and their faith grows and grows because they have this faith and they have, they have this belief. So if we think about this in our own lives, it's really telling us that even when things are difficult and we feel upset or angry or scared, which happens sometimes, it's perfectly normal, we all feel like that sometimes, it's just to remember that God's always with us through the bad and the good and we need to trust in him and keep our faith and this will keep our faith growing and growing. We've talked before about the many ways we can live our lives to try and be good and caring and helpful towards others and to show our faith through these actions too. And alongside keeping our faith with God, we also need to show others how to sow the seeds into each other's lives. We can do this by telling each other, we can tell other people about the good news of God and how to follow Jesus and how to live their lives to follow Jesus and try and be a good person and, and do the things that they should try and do. But we can also do it by giving to others. And we talked before about giving our time and giving things to people who need. Now, next week in church, we're having a harvest festival, which we do every year. A little bit different this year. Obviously, we have to be a little bit um, careful about our donations. So what we're asking for, if you want to come, if you want to come along or if you want to donate some food at church and um, to just bring tinned or dried food um, because it'll be delivered later on in the week. Um, but we'd love to have some donations of food for those who really need it in our community. And we'd love to see you there if you can make it along to the Harvest Festival too. Okay, and we can really think, even if you can't make it to the Harvest Festival, you can always donate to a food bank. Because this time of year when we're thinking about harvest and we're thankful for all the food in the world that God's created for us and the seeds that grow, um, it's good to think about other people who might be having a, a difficult, more difficult time and who might need that food sharing with them because they don't have enough to eat. So it's good to think about others. Now I said to you that we're planning some things coming up in the next few weeks and next few months for you. Now one of the things that we're going to do in a couple of weeks time, I'm going to start, um, I'm going to start to take numbers for, we're going to put together some Advent craft bags. Now Advent's not till December, but in order for us to get everything together and planned and things, we in the next few weeks we're going to be asking um, if you would like an advent craft bag. Now this will be a bag full of things for you to make and do at home to follow along through December through our advent videos that you can make things at home. So if you'd like an advent craft bag you can start, your mums and dads can start getting in touch with me either through the WhatsApp group or on the email on the website and just let us know if you would like one. Okay there'll be more details about it later on but if you think that that's something you'd be really interested we'd love to have make as many craft bags as we can for all of you to get involved and that would be fabulous. So I hope you have a great week and Emma's going to be with you next week she's going to be bringing you a harvest service video. Okay so bye for now.
loving God. Thank you for the flowers and thank you for the trees. Thank you for the seeds that fall. Thank you for the food we eat and the water we drink. Thank you for the seasons that help the farmers harvest our food. Father God, sow a seed of peace in our lives and a seed of love in our hearts. Amen.